Thank you for joining me today for this presentation on a topic that has forever changed our understanding of life on Earth, evolution. Evolution, the process by which species change over time, is not just a biological concept, it's a profound insight into the history of life itself. Today, we'll embark on a journey through the world of evolution, exploring its principles, evidence, mechanisms, and its far-reaching implications. But before we dive in, let's set the stage. Over the next few minutes, we will explore the historical perspectives on evolution, introduce the visionary Charles Darwin and the concept of natural selection, examine the evidence supporting evolution, including the fossil record, comparative anatomy, molecular biology, and biogeography. Delve into the mechanisms that drive evolution. Uncover the fascinating concept of speciation. Appreciate the idea of common ancestry. Consider the ongoing process of evolution. Discuss the implications of evolution in various fields. Address common misconceptions. Explore the importance of teaching evolution. Our journey begins with a look at the early ideas about the diversity of life. From ancient myths to pre-Darwinian theories, human beings have pondered the origins of the species for centuries. Enter Charles Darwin, whose groundbreaking work introduced us to the concept of natural selection. It was during his voyage on the HMS Beagle that he made observations that forever changed our understanding of life's history. Natural selection, the mechanism Darwin proposed, rests on four key principles, variation within populations, competition for resources, differential survival and reproduction, and the accumulation of advantageous traits. Now, let's turn to the compelling evidence for evolution, a cornerstone of this theory. The fossil record, comparative anatomy, molecular biology, and biogeography collectively reveal the story of life's transformation over eons. But how does evolution actually happen? Genetic variation within populations, mutations, genetic drift, gene flow, and natural selection are the mechanisms that drive the process. From there, we'll explore speciation, the process by which new species arise. We'll discuss how reproductive isolation leads to the formation of distinct species, and we'll delve into examples of both allopatric and sympatric speciation. The idea of common ancestry unites all life on Earth. We'll examine the tree of life, which represents the interconnectedness of all living organisms. Evolution is not just a thing of the past, it's happening all around us. We'll explore examples of ongoing evolution, such as antibiotic resistance, which demonstrate the theory's ongoing relevance. And what does all of this mean for us? We'll discuss the far-reaching implications of evolution, from medicine to agriculture and conservation. We'll also tackle common misconceptions and controversies, emphasizing that science and faith can coexist peacefully. The importance of teaching evolution cannot be overstated. We'll delve into effective strategies for teaching this foundational concept in science education. In conclusion, evolution is not just a theory, it's a beautifully intricate story of life's continuous transformation. It's a testament to the power of evidence, observation, and the human spirit of inquiry. I'll now open the floor for questions and discussion. Please feel free to ask anything you'd like to know. Thank you for your attention and participation today. Together, we've journeyed through the incredible story of evolution, and I hope you've gained a deeper understanding of the wonders it reveals.